And that was that with Karima and Srishti. So nice. Uh, if you've just tuned in, you're watching Sun Silk Presents. It's a girl thing. India, co-powered by Stay Free, special destination partner, Tourism Authority of Thailand in support of UN Women. It's an initiative by Z Live and Branded. So the Ikuniashto to media social media use karo. I'm at a shout out now. Our handles are IAG. Live and IAGT India. Uh, around the two sessions, Baki Ache, our next session is actually quite fun. So, Ria Sen is an actor, she's a model. We have seen her practically grow up in front of us. Uh, her mother is Munmun Sen, her grandmother is Suchitra Sen, both veterans in the industry. And Achke, Amra Ria Sen, it too, Beshi Janku. We are doing a session called You in Her Own Words with Ria Sen, and let's get to get ready to meet her a little more. Let's go. Hi Ria, I'm going to ask you today's 50 rapid fire questions. And I'm going to ask you today's rapid fire questions. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Question number one, what does IWD stand for? Uh, International Women's Day. <laughs> Good job. Okay, do you know what you want to do with your life? Do you know what you want to do with your life? I just can't like... Uh, I think uh, Amar Grandma or Amar Ma, definitely. What is your favorite TV show of all time? At the moment, uh, I have so many, but at the moment, I um, like this one called Stateless, which is on Netflix. Uh, school is your favorite subject? Definitely not maths. I think English. Chocolate, <laughs> <laughs> what is the first thing you do? I check my mobile. <laughs> Trick yeah. question. What is the last thing you do before going to bed? I check my mobile. Nijek kon teen words describe kurbe? Sake? Nijek? I think I'm a bit crazy. I think um, oh, I don't know. I just can't think of this right now. What am I? For three words. I hate describing myself, but um, I think I'm fun. I think I'm crazy. And I think I'm, who the crap is going to say sexy from the side? Anything but sexy. But you are. <laughs> own it. No, own I'm it. not. And I hate it. Like, you know, I'm not sexy. Okay, so I'm fun. I'm crazy. And I'm um, a free spirit. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Choto Balakar, kono memory that you'd like to share? Um... I was always dressing up and trying to become an actress, trying to look like my mother, wearing her wigs. You know, after school, would go to the dressing, uh, dress her dressing table, wear her wigs, wear her makeup, uh, put on all the jewelry, and like look in the mirror and think that you know I'm already not rejected. So yeah, <laughs> amazing. Uh, yeah. What is the number one thing on your bucket list? To just keep traveling and traveling and traveling, but uh, wherever I go, I just it's uh, always in the pursuit of happiness. So I want to go someplace finally, eventually, and settle down that I can be happy in. Okay, what are you most afraid of, Ria? Um, fire. <laughs> Your favorite superhero? My favorite superhero, I guess, is Asterix. I know that's a bit uh, weird, but it's Asterix. <laughs> Old school, okay. Uh, yeah. Joey, you actress, what are you hote? I think I would be um, a fashion designer. <laughs> Do you have a nickname? I refuse to tell you my nickname. It's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell, tell, what is your nickname? No, I'm not going to, it's pathetic. <laughs> okay, so my spirit animal ke? I think definitely a dog. Sweet. What do you think is the most important life lesson to learn? Like I said, I think it's just all about being happy, you know, being happy. You can't really like, um, you, you might can't buy you happiness, you know, but I think happiness is something which you learn to be if you just, uh, you know, find it, it just comes to you you know so you gotta like understand what happiness is and then you you're gonna be happy all the time okay recently at the best piece of advice do whatever makes you happy <laughs> I see a pattern here but okay no because uh, this has actually been happening of late so it's 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 i, I it's actually like uncanny that you're asking me these questions because it's been happening of late yeah 
उट <laughs> that i'm some god knows party animal wild child very sexy all the time like i have no clue okay what is the coolest thing you've ever done i've done a lot of cool things i do things one. all the time tell us one tell us one cool well, I, i i mean cool it's cool i mean cool is relative and but for me i do cool things because i keep traveling uh and when i travel i do everything that i want to do in my life i go to new places I make new friends. I stay on if I travel for like four days. If I like the place, I stay on for like you know four weeks or maybe months. And uh, I I just live life according to my own rules. I do not I choose not to be a society puppet. So I do whatever I want to do, and I think that's really cool. Nice. This might be a related question. What quality do you like the best about yourself? I like the fact that um I'm I'm pretty I've made I've become pretty strong or maybe I've just been um you know very strong person since the time that I've been born so I am able to deal with a lot of nonsense and I am able to see through people I'm able to like uh, you know always like deal with situations I have presence of mind and I think I like that about myself the most Woohoo okay jodi amra 10 bochor age fast forward kore di what how are we seeing riya sen in the future 10 years from now but well, 10 years from now i was uh, i think i was absolutely uh, you know i was like going through a stage of confusion of where am i going to be 10 years from now yeah. uh, am i going to be uh, able to get to the place that i want to be so i guess i was always like a very indecisive person and uh, you know making frivolous and like silly choices and Yeah, so that's where I was, and I think today I'm uh, a lot more sorted. I know what I'm doing, where I want to be, where I am at, and I think I'm exactly where I want to be. So, where are you going to be ten years from now? Ten years from now, I think I'm going to be um, maybe uh, somewhere on the beach uh, with a lovely house with a lovely family. Uh, so I'm, I think I'm getting there. I'm just going to be somewhere which makes me happy. and i think i'm already very happy so i'm not really looking at 10 years from now uh i think i'm just going to live my life the way i am now and uh, and i think i'm i'm okay nice what makes you laugh every single time it could be a person also but every single time something that makes you laugh well the person is sitting right here <laughs> he makes me laugh a lot he's been my friend for the last uh, i think 8 to 9 years and he's extremely funny the way he looks the way he dresses he's just like a stand up comedian for me and all my friends know that every time i meet him i just take the mickey out of him but he's extremely funny and i just like have to have him around and it just gives me a lot of um makes me laugh all the time he makes me laugh all the time okay is there a world crisis that's keeping you up at night at the moment There are so many to choose from. Well, there is. Yes, of course, there is. There is you know, the farmers' problem going on, and the political issues in our country. So many other issues. Oh, uh, the pandemic, of course, which has also affected my family because my dad had COVID. He was hospitalized. There are lots of problems, lots of issues, but I've been dealing with them, and I think we've come out of each and every one, and we we're hopefully going to come out of this too. It's going to pass. So, just going to try to keep positive and yeah. deal with it. Yeah. So my favorite Indian festival. Uh Holi. Hmm. Okay. India the actor kono jaga jikhane you wanted to visit but you just haven't gone yet. I think it would be um I don't know. I think I've been everywhere. <laughs> A traveler. Okay. Uh why did you get into what you're doing? What a vague question. You can answer it however. <laughs> why did you I, get I, into I, I, I didn't get into what I was doing. It just happened to me because um I really wanted to like study, go abroad, you know, and then decide what I want to do. So actually it's kind of like weird when people ask me what would you have been if you weren't an actor because I hadn't had time to think about it and I still can't think about it because I don't really know. I've studied designing so I say fashion designing, but apart from that 
uh, I did my first movie when I was five years old, and when I was seven years old, and I was eight years old. My first proper feature film when I was in class eight and nine and ten. So you know, it just like became a profession for me before I knew it, and um, it's going on. So I'm quite okay with it. I accept it, and I I like I like it. Okay, I think I already know the answer to this, but do you think you're a spontaneous person, or do you prefer a plan? I'm ex. I'm. I'm too spontaneous. Yeah. Thought as much. Okay. Nije style ki kore tumi describe kore be ki kon kon category te classify kore be. My style. I'm a very. I'm very moody when it comes to my style. You know, I could mm. be going like uh, to the film fair awards uh, or some uh, any uh, other awards. You know, like even to, and and I would be wearing like my jeans and a black shirt or a black top or black pants or a black t-shirt. and then there was a stage where people would be like oh my god why is she always wearing black but that's my style i'm moody and that's my favorite color and i choose to wear black and till today i wear black wherever i go so i don't let people's reactions or uh, uh, opinions affect my style my style is i just need to be comfortable mm-hmm. and yeah if i want i can dress up i can wear a short black dress or a short gold dress but it's all it just depends on my mood and my spontaneity Okay, uh, Nigel, mobile phone or wallet? Chara. What is one item you will never leave home without? Um, right now, maybe my face mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah. PSA: Everybody watching, do not leave home without your mask. Yes. Okay. What is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Well, I think one of the weirdest. Oh, I had a grasshopper when I was in Bangkok. So yeah, definitely. How was it? It was just like it was fried, and I just popped into my mouth, and then I I don't even know, but I just had it, and I remember that I ate a grasshopper, so that was that. <laughs> okay, what is one thing about yourself that you would like to change? Um, lots of things. I think maybe I wish I was uh, skinnier. <laughs> God, just just yeah. just shut up. Yeah. Okay. I will, uh, I'm. I'm telling you know. I put on like six and a half kilos. I wish I. I wish I had a little more discipline in my life mm-hmm. because uh, you know, uh, I don't. My. I, it's very difficult for me to follow a pattern or a routine, and I think that's a little bit of a drawback to myself because I guess consistency is one of the keys. Key for like you know anything that you're working towards in life. And for mm-hmm. me, I get very bored easily, and that's how I travel a lot. Like when I. You know, me to go train and then I start working out and then like after a month or two I get bored and I switch to something else. So I'm constantly switching. Or then when I don't work out, I don't work out for like six months. Mm. So yeah, that. I wish okay. I was more consistent in everything that I put my hand to. Okay. Jodi Nije ke kochno tumi akta deserted island depo. Who would you want for company? That's a secret. <laughs> I'll reveal my secrets to everyone. Okay then. Is there a historical <laughs> female figure you admire, and why? Historical female figure. Nothing. No one's coming to my mind right now. I can't. No. No. Next question. Okay. Only person who's coming to my mind right now is Marie Antoinette, but. No, not coming. I'm not sure about admiring her, but I do like her. She's endearing and she's cute. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, what is your favorite kind of music? I like all genres of music. Everything. House But what music, are you listening to currently? I can listen to techno. I can listen to house music. I can listen to new disco. I can listen to old uh, rock music. I can listen listen to like anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what is a piece of advice you would give to yourself, your fifteen year old self? I'll repeat the question. What is one piece of advice you would give to your fifteen-year-old self? I would just ask you to shut up and calm the hell down. <laughs> <laughs> Great advice. Yeah. Okay, I have three choices for you. Number one, spicy or mild. Spicy. Okay, aerobics or yoga. Yoga. Introvert or extrovert. Introvert. Okay, and finally, Ria, I want you to complete this sentence. The most awesome thing about being a girl is. I mean, just about everything. 
<laughs> I I wouldn't want to have it any other way. I wouldn't want to be a guy. I love them with all due respect, but I think being a girl, being a woman is like the best thing in the whole world. Yeah. We completely agree and thank you so much Ria for doing thank this. So I I feel much. like thank I know you so much more now. <laughs> yes. I'm very excited that you could be a part of this. Thank you so thank much. You. Thanks, thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.